My name is Pavel Gurvich. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Gardico. We started in around 2013, and what we believe in is that organizations should be able to very quickly innovate in the cloud, but not risk their security. And to do that, we wanted to rethink and redesign some basic security concepts for the cloud infrastructure. The cloud really changed everything. Servers are not static in a certain physical location. It's not a one application that's running on a big server. It's one application that's scattered over tens or sometimes hundreds of servers, and it's running in different locations all the time. Some of the more mature security players maybe reach their architectural limits. And so there was a big gap, and that gap still exists between uh, how enterprises are using the cloud to deliver applications, the sensitivity of these applications and the existing security architectures and how effective they are in these hybrid dynamic cloud environments. And really what Gardicore does, it's, it focuses only on the servers. We think that that's the critical part of the infrastructure, that's where the data resides and that's where the business processes are run. And instead of having a traditional security approach when you have a physical box, a central location that routes everything through it, we took that and built it in software and distributed it. And so if you think, for instance, about a firewall, we put a little firewall on every workload, on every server. And then as the servers move between the different cloud environments, the policy and the firewall follows them. And so if today you're running a server on-premise and you're moving it to some public cloud deployment, that little piece of policy that we embedded into the server will move with it. And it will be able to move in the future as well, uh, regardless almost of what infrastructure you're running on. So I got involved in this space early on, and then I joined uh, the Israeli military. At that time, the cybersecurity uh, I'd say practice within the Israeli intelligence community was rapidly evolving and growing and that gave me a, a wonderful opportunity to lead very innovative projects and really become part of something very, very big. In the true sense of the word, uh, for me, Scott was and still is a very close partner to building and running the company. Uh, and the battery team has provided significant value add over uh, the years at which we've been engaged. And about two years ago, we started taking the product to the market in a pretty focused way. We had experienced phenomenal growth, 400% a year this last year, and we're very bullish about the coming years as well. Really, we have succeeded on across different verticals, across different geographies, and across different company sizes. Uh, so at this point, the future is pretty bright, and as much as we put into our marketing and go-to-market engine, the faster it provides returns for us.